Spur Bank, Russia's largest bank, recently announced the launch of gold-backed digital assets on its own blockchain. The recent Russian law titled on digital financial assets enabled companies to begin tokenizing various financial assets such as gold. Spur Bank has essentially created a new digital format for gold which now exists on the blockchain and can be held by users themselves. This is expected to attract a large number of new investors and institutions, especially given the widespread concern about fiat currency inflation. The co-founder of crypto exchange Gemini has accused digital currency group CEO Barry Silbert of bad faith stall tactics as their respective companies lock horns over a business disagreement precipitated by FTX's multi-billion dollar implosion late last year. Cameron Winklevoss blasted Silbert in an open letter posted to Twitter alleging crypto broker Genesis Global Capital and its parent company DCG owe Gemini's client $900 million. The letter alleges Gemini has awaited word on a repayment agreement for six weeks to no avail. Silbert responded, tweeting that DCG delivered to Genesis and Gemini's advisor a proposal on December 29, 2022 and has not had any response. Winkle was also accused DCG CEO Barry Silbert of using $1.675 billion in money. Winkle was claimed DCG owes Genesis and using it for purposes that helped other DCG ventures instead of repaying creditors. Silbert responded, tweeting that DCG did not borrow $1.675 billion from Genesis. He also said DCG has never missed an interest payment to Genesis and is current on all loans outstanding. Square Enix, the Japanese firm and creator of major franchises like Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest, has gradually increased its investment and presence in the Web3 space over the last few years. And in President Yosuke Matsuda's annual New Year's letter for 2023, he explained that Square Enix is most focused on blockchain-powered gaming amid its new business development efforts. Square Enix is developing multiple blockchain games based on original IP rather than its existing franchises, Matsuda wrote, and the firm plans to announce further games this year. The firm is also still considering investment opportunities around blockchain. Matsuda's letter highlights the growing use of the term Web3, which he writes has become a firmly established buzzword among business people. However, he also notes the market challenges that emerged in 2022, including the collapse of cryptocurrency exchange FTX in November and the subsequent industry contagion. That's all in this bulletin for now. Keep watching 3.0 TV.